Hey guys, welcome back to another match day vlog. Today I'm heading to West Ham versus Arsenal. It's 8 pm kickoff. It's absolutely pissing down outside, but I'm going to try and vlog for you today. Uh, I don't know what to predict with this one. Uh, depends if Arsenal are up for it and if we're up for it. I'm going to go with. I don't know. 2 um, 2. If not, 3 2. Okay, so 2 2 or 3 2. I'm stuck on those two decisions. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead to the game now. And yeah, I'll see you in it when I get in there. Come here, Wyatt!
They fly so high. And who eats the sky? Oh, my dreams, they fade and die.
So I've not long been home, guys. It was nil-nil in the end. So I did get the prediction right this time, but hopefully next time I'll get the prediction right. What can I say about the game? Well, the referee had a ma major impact on the game, I think. And the linesman, they really wasn't doing their jobs correctly. Jonathan Moss is an absolute... Just... Idiot. He wasn't very good. He was not very good at all. Antonio did not look match fit again. Starts him again and he just doesn't do much. We need to just be starting Andy Carroll, I think. Or Sacco or Hernandez. Anyone other than Antonio. Yes, he's got the pace. Yes, he works a bit hard. But he hasn't been showing it lately. And it's fucking frustrating. Because you know, you know you've got this great player who can just run for days and he's strong, he's powerful. But he just can't, he's not been doing it the last couple of games. I think he needs some time out on the sidelines for so he gets a bit more of his fight back. I think that's what he, that's what he had when he was playing under Sam Bilic. He went to fight for his place. That's what he had to do at the start as well. Um, so hopefully he gets that back again. But overall performance, it was pretty good. Uh, the defence held their own. Adrian, once again, man of the match. Absolutely great performance by him, even though he only had to make three saves. We didn't have a shot on target, which is quite worrying. Um, offside goal it was close to not being offside. And Alcevic absolutely played a blinder. Hopefully he's going to score a hat-trick against Stoke on Saturday. We're starting to look like a team again. Like, oh, I'm just so happy that we've not lost today. We're closer out, closer to getting out of the relegation zone. We're closer to being the team that I know we can be. Hopefully, we have a good January window. Get getting some decent players. Jack Wilshere, I've heard we're trying to get. He looked good tonight as well in the middle of Arsenal's midfield. But I don't know why they wouldn't get. Wood. I don't know why they would want to get rid of him after tonight because he played decent. I just hope we get some decent players in and start building a fortress at the Olympic Stadium. So there's two two games we've. So there's four out of Man City, Chelsea, and Arsenal. We come away with four points. We we nearly got a point at Man City as well, which is so unlucky not to. Everyone thought we would be going like bottom with the league, bottom of the league after those three games. But we've managed to keep our own and yeah. Very proud of Wilson I they dug deep again. Especially with these fixtures that are coming thick and fast in December. It's really hard for them, I can just imagine. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this match day vlog. I didn't film as much as I wanted because of the rain. This camera will cost five hundred pounds and I don't want to get it fucking ruined already. Uh but yeah. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit a thumbs up, subscribe to our... Uh, make sure you hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next home game. Goodbye.